I'm Todd Tracy with the Tracy Law Firm in Dallas, Texas, and I want to talk with you today about some common myths that exist. A lot of times people, when they hear that an 18-wheeler strikes another object, that that 18-wheeler is always going to win that fight. Well, you know what? When you jump to conclusions, that's when improper conclusions are made. For example, just because the fact that an 18-wheeler strikes your vehicle, it means nothing. You have to analyze the entire accident beforehand. What about if the 18-wheeler sideswipes your vehicle and they only contact the side mirrors? Is that survivable? Absolutely. What about if the 18-wheeler sideswipes your vehicle and only one inch of your vehicle structure is engaged? Is that survivable? Absolutely. What about if the sideswipe accident happens and there's only enough energy that would be the same energy that's involved in a nine mile an hour accident. Is that survivable? Absolutely. But a lot of times people jump to conclusions when they, uh, when they, when they hear, oh, an 18-wheeler struck something. Another myth that is common is that bigger is always better. That's not true at all. In fact, if you look at 18-wheelers a lot of times, when an 18-wheeler rolls over, for example. Everybody, everybody would assume that that 18-wheeler driver is going to walk away. But if you've seen the roof on an 18-wheeler when it rolls over, you would be amazed. Heaviest vehicles on the road, and it's probably one of the weakest roof structures known to man. Another example of that is people that drive these monster trucks, the trucks that look like uh, they've got so much structure around them and they've got jacked up wheels and jacked up tires and, and lifts kits on them. And they think, well, that vehicle is bigger and badder and heavier than everything on the road. Believe it or not, when those vehicles roll over, they crush like a, like a wet cardboard box. So just because it's bigger doesn't make it safer and it doesn't make it better. The last myth. I want to talk to you about the small car always loses the fight. That's not necessarily the case at all. In fact, if you go to YouTube, Mercedes-Benz ran a brand new E350 into a smart car. E350 weighed 3,000 pounds more than the smart car. You know who won that fight? The smart car. Why? Because better material, better engineering, and better testing. So just because the fact that a small car is involved with, in a crash with a bigger car, don't necessarily think that uh, David can't beat Goliath.